Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Turning Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to TPGF, Turning Point Global Family, Daily Devotional Prayer and Prophetic Altar. Wake up to this altar daily. Listen to Turning Point for prayers and meditation. Then pray more on your own as much as you can. Then do a short Bible study from our Turning Point Prayer Booklet, also authored by me. Pray the prayer there also and follow the guideline on reading the entire Bible through systematically in a year. Turning Point book is published monthly, available both in hard and soft copies. If you subscribe with a token, the prayer content shall be sent to your phone for daily engagement. For subscription and subscription renewal, chat with Demi on plus two three four eight zero double five one double zero five one zero. Do so now. Welcome also to Wednesday, 30th day in October. One more day. We will step out of this outgoing month to the new. You will step out of this month in celebration to the new in joy and happiness. Now open your hand and heart to receive what God has sent today and be responding with Amen and receive it. Goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. Who is this? You are changing level very soon. The conspiracy against you is hereby broken. God that turned the counsel of Ahitophel to nothing will turn their evil intention against you to nothing. God will fight your battles and give you sweatless victory. Within seven days, you will hear good news. And you, you are due for promotion. Your spouse, your son, daughter, or sibling, due for promotion. But certain persons and protocols are holding it down. That person is removed, and the protocol is thereby broken. Expect to be congratulated soon. That's what I'm hearing in my spirit now. Yes. Can we do this? All listeners, if you cannot do it now, then do it when it is more convenient for you. Let's take this prophetic action today. Write in capital letters the word congratulations and put your name. Then sign it. Write your name like I'm going to do. Congratulations, Femi Emmanuel. Write your own congratulations and put your own name too, or your son or your daughter or husband's name, or your wife or sibling. Then sign it. Keep the paper or the note. You will carry your evidence very soon. You shall soon be congratulated on a major breakthrough and good news. I want to speak to waiting wombs today. I have the urge in my spirit to do that. All waiting mothers, do this. Hold your tummy tight with your bare hand on your bare skin. You remove the cloth or put your hand under the cloth. Make sure you are holding your tummy tightly. As I begin to speak to your womb, I speak to that womb. I say womb becomes productive. I speak to your reproductive system. Be energized and have the power of the Holy Ghost to conceive. Hebrews 11 verse 11 says concerning Sarah, she received power and strength to conceive and was delivered of a, ch- of a child when she was past age. Ah, hold that tummy tight with your hand. Make sure your bare hand is touching your skin. Mother, you can stand in the gap for your daughter and do the same where you are. I prophesy. Receive strength to conceive. Receive divine power to conceive. Whatever might have been the delay, medical, spiritual, or emotional reason, the delays are cancelled. The delays are over. Your menstrual cycle shall return. Hormonal disorder or imbalance or infection, fibroid or whatever, gone forever. You shall conceive very soon and give back to baby or babies in Jesus' name. All concerned, say amen. Their parents also say amen. Then put a worthy battle seed behind this prayer, if you can. And if you have faith, if your faith agrees with it, to sow battle seed to back up battle prayers such as this. Right? October 30 celebrant. Your birthday prayers. Be blessed. Your birthday is blessed. Your new age is blessed also. Length of days shall be added to you. You will mark October 30 yearly in good health, prosperity, and power. Till you are 120 years. Say amen. Happy birthday. Listeners, let's get to the insightful teaching segment. Using questions and situations listeners have sent in. Send yours 
or you send it if you have not uh, done so. Now, let's go. I was dating someone in my church, and the partnership, uh, the relationship was serious. We were even already taking steps towards marriage. But unfortunately, we had to break up the relationship amicably. It has been over three months now. But now, I don't know how to move on. We keep seeing each other in the church because we are in the same church and we are key workers in the church. I just want to know what to do. I am considering leaving the church uh, and for the first time, I'm thinking of dating just anybody if that will help me to put this ugly incident of separation behind me. Daddy, I want to know what to do. I need your advice. Wow, it does happen. But it is not palatable, just as we have narrated here. You, however, did not tell us what led to the breaking up of the relationship. As members of the same church, key workers in the same church, people must have been looking forward to your wedding day, as you describe it. My advice is one of you have to leave that church for the other person. It will be very difficult, if not impossible, to date another sister or for that sister to date another brother in that same church environment. It's almost like you are divorced, even though you were not officially joined together. But the church community, ah, to them, you are already one. So your consideration to leave for another church is wise. Prayerfully relocate. Church community is something nice when it comes to issues like this. All the giggling, the gossiping, the side talks, the bad impression will continue and make it difficult for either of you in that same church to get another spouse again. Next, good morning, sir. Is it okay for a Pentecostal to marry a Catholic? Wow, marriage issue again. My answer is yes or and no. Yes, if they both agree to move to either the Pentecostal church or the Catholic church and forgo the other person's doctrine, uh, it will be okay. But if they choose to hold on to their doctrines individually, then it is no. Capital no. Uh, if the two of you are not ready to drop your doctrines, Catholic people are good people. Pentecostal people are good people. But the doctrines and the practices are totally different. And they are not the same. Even though they both believe and call on God. But doctrines are not the same. My regular counsel has always been this. Never marry across faith and never marry across doctrines. People's faith and doctrines control their entire life. You will not find it funny when you get into that marriage and you are pulling apart. Your children too will be caught up in that crossfire. Your life and destiny will be totally messed up. Doctrinal issues are serious issues. Please don't cross the line. Next, Grandpa, your word and prayers has really shaped my life and relationship. My partner also listened to Tony Point Daily. Daddy, I'm disturbed over an issue. My wedding is coming up in the next seven months. My fiancé work in Lagos while I work in Isaiah. We have been hoping for transfer to the company branch in Ibadan. He said he will be coming home every weekend. But Grandpa, I don't want it that way. What should I do? Should I still put the wedding on hold till the transfer is possible? Because I don't want a weekend home. Daddy, please cancel me. Wow, you are right in not wanting a weekend home. What God has joined together, nothing should put it asunder. My, never reduce your marriage to a weekend marriage. My counsel, both of you should seek for job in one of the cities, either in Nevada or Lagos. Don't live separately, especially young couple. Prayerfully look for a job in Lagos where he is. You will get, if you mean it, and diligently and prayerfully pursue it, you will get. And of course, you know your grandpa's teaching. Don't stay too long working for the person on a, or an organization, not even for government. Both of you should agree, work hard, save hard, start a, on a family business outfit and grow it. Get that well established before your children begin to get to 
primary, secondary school, even to tertiary school. Don't wait and stay apart. Seek for job in the same city. Listeners will continue from here tomorrow. Today is the prayer mountain service day in Abuja Center. As announced yesterday, please, all residents of Abuja and Environ, be there today. Uh, Living Spring Chapel Kadu Life Camp after the fish market, 12 to 2 p.m. Tomorrow is the prayer mountain in Ikeja, Lagos, Dominion City, Kolobo, Abelkota, Oshogbo, Akure, Potakot, and New York. It will be holding concurrently. Two services every Thursday, 7 to 9 a.m. and 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. Then month is ending. So if you are a monthly tighter, personal and corporate tighten, back to Thanksgiving and partnership commitment seed, and the 10, 10, 10, 10 seed we are sowing this month, do so as soon as you earn your income. In November, our monthly seed sowing shall go to 11, 11, 11, 11. As many 11s as you can sow and you can add. Now, for the commission's account details, uh, for your tithing and seed sowing, including the PayPal information, please send a chart uh, of request to plus two three four eight zero nine seven eight nine four thousand. That line only. Never, never send money to any personal account. Don't answer them. Block them. They are fraud Now, for the PayPal details, it's the same number. Now, for the HSBC, our UK members and listeners that does their own, that will do their own directly in pound sterling, send a chart for our HSBC account to zero seven four. One 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 two eight four zero one. Finally, have you subscribed to our YouTube platform? I desire all sincere, committed, and loyal TPGF members and Living Spring members to please connect to our YouTube. Do so. We want to build our YouTube platform to at least five hundred thousand followers. We want you to do that so that we can reach out, and it is easy. Go to your YouTube on your phone and type at the real family Emmanuel. YouTube, type at the real family Emmanuel. The word real is R-E-A-L. Then tap your subscribe button and turn on notification so that I will see your face directly on the screen and prophesy and pray for you intentionally directly to your face. That's a powerful spiritual exercise. Help me to be able to do that for you. Please subscribe to our YouTube today. And then encourage everyone in your contact to do the same. I speak to everyone's life. Receive grace. Receive power. You will end this month well and start the new month great. Your testimony shall be awesome. What God cannot do does not exist. For God can do all things. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. I'm family Emmanuel. I love you. Have a great day. Bye.